This mixed fraction question is a subtraction one, and nothing changes from addition to subtraction except you're going to subtract instead of add. Same steps though. So I need a common denominator, and I can multiply them together and get 50, and I can work through my question that way, which is fine, but it's way simpler to find the lowest common denominator. And a quick rule, or a quick shortcut maybe, is to ask yourself, does the small number go into the big number? And 5 goes into 10, so both will go into 10. That's my, well, that's my common denominator here. So uh, 10 and 10. How do they go from 5 to 10? I times by 2, so 4 times 2 is 8. How do they go from 10 to 10? I times by 1, or I didn't do anything, so I don't do anything to the top. Happy little whole numbers, just leave them alone. Leave them alone, and this is subtraction. That's an important part, right? So instead of adding the holes and adding the numerator, I'm gonna subtract them. Nine minus two is seven. Eight minus three is five tenths. Now in this question here, that's one mark for a common denominator, one mark for equivalent fractions, one mark for the correct value. But to get four to four, to get that extending part, you have to put this in lowest terms, right? So you look for numbers that go into five and 10, and in this case it's five. So divide both of these by five, and I get one over two, but don't forget about the seven whole pieces. So this is going to be seven and one over two. That's my final reduced answer.